everybody. Welcome to Make Your Day Come. I'm Lindsay Roberts. I am joined with my co-host, Melissa Lee, and we are here wanting you to make your day count. Mm -hmm. So we had this huge discussion on the phone that went a very long time, which led to talking about Psalm 91 mm -hmm. and putting a prayer cover over your life. I'm going to have her talk about that in a second. But if you would like prayer cover book. This is a book that Oral Roberts talked about, Richard and I put together, and this is about putting a prayer cover over your family. What yes. does the Bible say about covering your family yes. with the Word of God? If you would like it, 918-495-7777, 918-495-7777. It's Psalm 91 about putting a prayer cover over your life, and one of the interesting things about this is that what we're about to teach on, even our notes, these notes are like, I think, 13 years old. Yeah. It's all the same still yes. today. So yes. we want you to have this. If you'd rather download it like a PDF, you can do that. But I want you to have a prayer cover over your life. It's yes. free. It's my gift to you. 918-495-7777 or go online, richardroberts.org slash bookstore. Again, it's free. We just want you to have it now. The reason all of this came about with your turtle was because we were talking about putting a prayer cover over our family right, and right. how we felt like there's a connection between the armor of God yes. and Psalm 91. They definitely relate. One of the things I love just about Psalm 91, I have written in my Bible over Psalm 91 that it's our security. Oh, that's so a good word. it's our security. And I love that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. But here's what I kind of think we, we forget this. I will say of the Lord, what are we saying of the Lord? What are we saying? Not just about the cir circumstances. Right. What are we saying about the situation? That's a good one. What are we saying about the Lord? You need to be saying he's my refuge. That's a good point. You he's my hear fortress. <laughs> Guess what? Stay tuned. Jordan's going to sing. We're going to be back and think about this. What are you saying about the Lord? Is he your refuge? Is he your fortress? Stay tuned. She has she has got so many notes. They're <laughs> even in purple. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're going to be right back. <laughs>
We have just launched the Healing Network. It's all healing all the time. This new 24-hour network is your place for live healing prayer and anointed messages, as well as the classic and timeless sermons of Oral Roberts. And we have new original programs coming soon. Available online or on demand, just look for The Healing Network on your favorite app. For more information, go to richardroberts.org slash The Healing Network. Did you know that the turtle and the armor of God have something in common? Stay tuned and we'll tell you. So don't forget, if you would like your copy of Prayer Cover, right there, all you have to do is call 918-495-7777 or go online, uh, richardroberts.org slash bookstore. This is free. This it's, it's a book that is filled with the Word of God, spiritual, physical, financial, biblical promises to, de to declare daily. We're going to talk yeah, about declare. Yes, what yes. are you declaring of the Lord <laughs> mm -hmm. over your life? It's free. If you want it in the PDF form, richardroberts.org slash bookstore. This is a gift. I want to give you the book. I want you to get in the Word of God yes. and begin to declare and decree it. Now, you talked about turtles, yes, but I did. they kind of relate back to yes. Ephesians 6. So what does that mean? In my mind, they do. <laughs> I <laughs> your wore my turtle necklace. In your world. <laughs> I asked Lindsay, can I wear my turtle necklace? So, yes. okay, so in Ephesians 6, 10 to 18, when Paul talks about the armor of God, he uses the Roman soldier's physical armor as the imagery for our spiritual armor. And okay. you think, okay, how does that relate? <clears throat> So most pieces are used for defense, okay? Okay. But it's a great picture to remind us that we are not defenseless. But wow. the cool thing that I've learned as I was digging through, I love studying and um, just, I feel like having a perspective, like we can think the word of God is boring. Really, you can't, that's just honest. And people don't read it because they think it's either too hard to comprehend or how could that apply for now? Yeah. It really does apply. And if you can kind of do a little, we did a little deep dive for you. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the turtle formation. So this was one of the most famous formations of the Roman soldiers. And it was used to protect the soldiers in battle. So, and this is what I love, I'm gonna read it so I don't mess it up. It okay. says, the soldiers, there were some soldiers in the front and some soldiers on the side, okay? And they would lock their shields. So shields of faith, we think, you know, the little Iron Man or whatever, yeah. not Iron Man. Yep, the, Captain the soldier, America, yeah. little yeah. round one. Yep. No, these were like from eyes to ankles yeah. for men. Yeah. And they were made of a hard surface, but they were coated in leather. Oh, wow. The leather, they would dip in water because when God says, and that just ministered so much to me, that when he says the shield of faith quenches every fiery dart of the enemy, the enemy, were, they were shooting fire fiery darts. Fiery darts, actual fire. Yes, and they would fizzle out on the shield. Now, those fiery darts, they were dipped and tar and pitch, they were more of a distraction to the soldiers yeah. than they were going to harm them. Uh -huh. They were trying to like get them to drop their armor oh, wow. and put out the fire. Hold then on. they could knock Let them that out. that one process. Yes. So it's the Satan trying to get us to drop distracted. our armor by mm -hmm. distractions of With little all fires. the stuff. I mean, I'm telling you this word, the word of God is so applicable to every single thing we're going through. Wow. So then, okay, so these guys knew better, right? Yep. They weren't dropping, they weren't, they weren't buying it. So they would lock their shields. They yep. would, the, the people, okay, let me read it. Okay. It was okay. So the back of the line would place their shields over the heads of the people in the front and the sides because the front and sides would move forward like my little turtle, like they would create this dome, yeah. like a circle. The back people would become the dome. It was so strong that at some points they could dip back in unison and men could run up, Ch chariots could run up, horses could run up. It was that strong. So think about this. Oh this is where word. they could go in and take back territory. Oh my so word. instead of just defending themselves, when they band together, Sister, you have band together with me in prayer on more things than I can even say. We've done say. it for about 30 years. So We're not when kidding. We, when we band together, yeah. we create an impenetrable, is that, can I say that right? That's the right word. Bar, uh, barrier to the enemy. So 
Okay. And we take that My territory. brain is going all over the place. <laughs> well, my but, mouth but is. But the so. truth is, it works perfectly. <laughs> my words, my thoughts. <laughs> the, the, my thought, you're okay. taking the shield of faith. Okay. So you sit there mm -hmm. while the devil slams stuff against mm -hmm. you and you say, okay, you're slamming me, but I've got my shield of faith. Mm -hmm. It bounces off, but I still just sit here. Mm -hmm. You're saying no. I think we could do more, sister, you get together. It. And when you put it like this, <laughs> and that bounces off, mm -hmm. then the rest of the group bands together when mm -hmm. there's that attack. Mm -hmm. They cover mm -hmm. those in the front line. Yep. And then they don't just stand there and say, hey, we're covering you. They yeah. go forward. We they take, take back the, territory. the territory. We're like, no, 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 no. We're not giving it Defensive. up. Defensive. And offensive. offensive. Yes. I mean, if you're playing football, I'm not great at it, but your son was fabulous he at was. it. Um, so, so when you're playing football, mm -hmm. if you're only defensive, yeah. It, 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 granted, you may stop the enemy. So to speak, ground. you're not gaining any ground. Right. Right. And if you're, you're only offensive, mm -hmm. then everybody else could get slammed. That's right. But when you work together, first the offensive team, yeah. Then the defensive yep. team, then people score. Yeah. And I think that's when we have to recognize. Thank God for the armor of God yes. that we can put up yes. and it deflects Quinches. away from us. Yeah. But that's yeah. not taking back the territory. Right. You've got to get the group yeah. together yep. it, yes. to take back the territory. Yes. And that's even, ta I, I think that the enemy uses, even in relationships, one of the tools of the enemy is to bring disunity. Mm -hmm. So we're not fighting together. We're, yeah. we're like just trying to survive. When we're all at odds with each other, we're just surviving. We need each other and yeah. we need the armor of God and we need to yes. walk in unity as families, as friends. And we have friends as families. I mean, you are as much to family to us as any friend. You know what I mean? My daughter he tells a story, which is a real comedy. Somebody said, hey, have you ever heard of that guy, Oral Roberts? She said, until I went to college, I thought he was my real grandfather because that's how it was. She thought, yep. I mean, she got to NYU and was telling a story and she realized, yeah, he's actually, he's really not my grandfather, but, but I was raised like he was my grandfather. Was. Yeah, you thought he was. <laughs> to this day, our comedy is Jillian, um, one of your daughters, you have three daughters and then Gary Robert, four, let's see, wait, four daughters, four daughters yeah. and <laughs> Gary Robert is number five. Yes. And, and when we have, um, of the four daughters, Jillian, I'm calling Jillian the logical, practical, analytical. Oh, Jillian's oh, yeah. me, right yeah. there. Oh, she is. And she run and a small country. We've been she, saying that since she was three. It's the truth. She's so organized. I even, you know, here I'm. I've, I've got my Bible on my phone, but I don't know why. But I brought my calendar <laughs> just in case I needed to be even because more we might, organized. We might like schedule an appointment while right. we're chatting with you about the armor of God Myth and of the this. turtles. It's true, and that's Jillian. <laughs> that's you go, Jillian. Yes. But she was. She talks about our family is Aunt Lindsay and Uncle Richard yes. so much that her child yeah. refers to Richard as, oh, that's Uncle Richard. Yes. Hey, I was showing him <laughs> a picture three of you generations. and he said, that's my Aunt Lindsay. I love her necklace. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to tell her, Charles. And that goes to your mom. Yes. Then to you guys. The then president to of Jillian. your fan club. Yes. Yep. The president yep. of my fan club. She <laughs> was the only fan, but it's okay. <laughs> she was the president and the only one in it. But it was your mom mm -hmm. and, and Poppy Ray. Yes. And then it was... Uh, you and Gary, yep, that second yep. generation, then your kids is third kiddos, generation, and then, the and then their babies. kids. This has been four generations yeah. of covering each other with prayer, with our holding shield that of shield. faith, our prayer covering. Exactly. So, yeah. so when the turtles get involved, <laughs> explain the 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 shell, the okay. armor. Okay. So it was it was used to approach. That's what I said. That it was so tight. The unity, in fact, I had written down somewhere um, about <laughs> how <want> my calendar. <laughs> Okay, I took the wrong book. The other day I lost my pants when it came, not the ones I was wearing, but I was, I was like, supposed to wear some a, an outfit here and I didn't want to get it dirty because I happened to mess all my clothes with food or something. And so I put it in the car and somewhere between my house and when I got here, I lost them. You so, lost your notes. Yeah. I lose. Well, I think they're back in the green, but that's okay. So, so it's just the, the tight formation they make. It's the, but we can't be in a tight formation if we're not in unity. And one of the things we're going to talk about in Ephesians, it ta we talked about, um, well, the word of God talks about, we're not fighting flesh and blood. Yeah. We're fighting principalities and powers of darkness. We in the body of Christ have 
treated each other like the enemy and in the Sometimes world too. Sometimes you're right, exactly. And so, I mean, unfortunately. Yeah. And so there is, um, I feel like there's a chink in our armor, if mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. that when we could be banding together yeah. to take back the territory the world is taking with our kids yes. in media and whatever avenue that you see that um, the music you know, where the, yeah. where the enemy is running amok, if you will. Yeah. Um, we could be banding together yeah. and taking back territory for the kingdom. That would please God. I had a vision one time, and Melissa, it had to be 30 years ago. In fact, we were talking about women's conferences. Yes. I have a picture of you, and oh, I Lord. think Candace is in it, and the girls are in it, and they can't be five years old oh, yeah. in a women's like, conference. Yeah, little bitties. And one of the things the Lord had me teach on was that I saw a vision of Satan mm. and he was standing in the corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we were all like Christian women yeah. having all of this battle. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden the battle, we were turning on each other. Yeah. And then we were, oh. you know, fisticuffs with each yes. other. And Satan is in the corner. And Loving he's got it. this gigantic, it. Um, it looked to me like an arrow, like a spear. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then he spoke and clear as a bell, I, I saw myself in this vision saying, why are you in the corner? He said, I don't have to get my hands dirty. If I just step back, mm -hmm. you guys will destroy yourselves. Wow. I woke up from that as if someone had splashed me full of water. Right. That's harrowing. We <laughs> are supposed to cover each other. Yes. The turtle, yeah. the tortoise shell mm -hmm. is so solid, solid. that nothing gets can into it. It, it can't get penetrates through it. That. Yeah. And the armor of God in Ephesians 6 yeah. is a reference that Paul made about the Roman army. Mm -hmm. And that was his reference of the day, right. that that armor mm -hmm. is like that in a sense of the turtle, right. that a it shield. is to be a, a shield yeah. and not but being when able we to utilize it. When we utilize it, and we band together. That is that, and not so, against each other. Right? No, it's never to be used against each other. Yeah. It's to and and listen. When we say that we're not fighting flesh and blood, let me tell you, there is flesh and blood walking around this planet fighting us. Yeah. And look, there's enough out there. <laughs> we don't we have need to, help. to know <laughs> that our prayers we reach a higher plane. Yes. And God can take care of what seems like a person fighting you. He can bring it down. Wait till you hear. I don't know if I've told this story. It had to be 15 years ago. Mm. I was, I had a vision that I was in like a Walmart or a Target. Thank God. Yeah, oh, thank <laughs> God is right. And I was there and I went through the checkout line. Uh -huh. And as I went through the checkout line, I had just like two or three things in my hand. And an mm -hmm. enemy of mine came up. And mm. I knew, I knew in the flesh, mm. it was a person that Satan was using as an absolute mm -hmm. enemy. A thorn. And yes. And I thought, why am I seeing this in my, I, I'm doing, I'm doing great in this vision about Walmart. Leave me alone. <laughs> why, why'd you have to come and ruin it? I'm at Walmart or it was a Target or something like that. And I'd already gone through the line and I had my stuff. Why did you have to come and ruin it? And I saw that person coming against me like, like I'm mm. going to take you down. Mm. And I saw it, but all of a sudden, I don't know how this happened. My next step I stepped on what would be like a freight elevator. And you got out of it. And there. I got up and out of it. And I said, Thank Lord, you. what's going on? He said, why don't I just elevate you yes. above the fray? Yes. He said, if you will trust me, yes. I'll just elevate you above the storm. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up and yeah. I thought I was getting ready to go. Yeah. You know, am I supposed to yeah. swing my Walmart yeah. bag at you or something? I mean, I didn't know. <laughs> and all of a sudden it was like, no, if you will trust me, yes. I'll elevate you above yes. the storm and asking him, you know, asking the Lord to help you through those things. So I know one of the things you said, bringing up that conference, I, I mean, I feel like I cut my teeth as like a mom and a, a <laughs> student a of the child. world. <laughs> I was a whopping 20 something anyway. But, um, I remember you saying we're living like we're at a picnic. Yes. And we're not, life is not a picnic. Now listen, you don't wear an armor to a picnic. Yes, you said that. And I know that we're not always like, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. But you know what? We are. Yeah. But we're not, it's not us fighting. It's like fighting on our knees. Yes. It's fighting the with good the fight trust. of our faith. Yes. Fighting that we can stand firm when the enemy's attacks come because of 
whose we are. Because of the army that we belong to, we belong to the army of the Lord. So if you were to take Ephesians 6, and here's where Melissa and I, I want you to read Ephesians 6, yes. 10 uh, through 18. 18. Go can, all the way through yeah, it. Yeah. Jump over to Psalm, because here's what okay. happened. Oh, While we it. were talking about Ephesians 6, 10, oh, and then yeah. we were talking about the tortoise, the turtle, the yes. shell, the shell becomes the armor, yeah. and how the formation of the Roman soldiers treated it like they were an army. And mm -hmm. when the, those out in front were in harm's way, so to speak, mm -hmm. the the ones in the back covered them. Oh, yeah. what a word. Chew yeah. on that word. Yeah. But that <laughs> word we also tossed over to Psalm 91. Yes. And it's the covering of God, which yes. is why we in are talking four, about the prayer cover. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you trust his truth shall be your shield and your buckler. There so it is think again. about the pinion of the wings, like the pinion. That is the softest little spot. Oh, of, you know what that. I mean? And yeah. also the wing is the strongest part. Yeah. And also rain can't penetrate it. So you are tucked in under yeah. the pinions of God Almighty. Yeah. Do we we walk around realizing that? That's why we make him our refuge. Okay, but how do we get there? You said those words, mm -hmm. I will what? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, he is my strength. Do you ever wonder what God says when we say, God, when are you going to do something? Mm -hmm. How much more can he do than or sending God, Jesus? Or God, I just never hear from you. I got 66 books I wrote to you, girl. Yeah, exactly. Like, I want to say that. It's like, listen, eat all the salad. There's, that, there's yeah. that thing that says, eat all the kale, go to the gym. But for, first of all, pick up your Bible. Yeah. Pick up your Bible. Yeah, there's you good things. Strong. There's good things to do. But if we're not strong spiritually, I mean, honestly, everything else on this earth is so fragile. Yeah. We know health is fragile. Yeah. We know right now, People are suffering yeah. with mental health. Yeah. And if you don't think this isn't just, I used to think, and I don't know if it was being raised from a little bitty girl in ministry, is that I'm going to read my Bible to be a good girl. Yeah. That's not what it's about. Yeah. I'm going to fortify my soul. Yeah, it's your armor. I'm going to renew my mind. Yeah. I'm going to become everything God created me to be for this time that he's placed me on this earth through his word. But he didn't say, I will say of the situation. No. He didn't say, I will say of my friends, which yeah. thank God for mine. <laughs> he didn't say, I will say of your enemies. Right. Not so happy about those. Mm -hmm. He said, what are you saying about the Lord? Yeah. When yeah. Jesus asked Peter, who do men say you are? Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Or who do men say I am? Yeah. And then he said, Peter, who do you think I am? Yeah. And he said, you're the Christ. Yeah. And Jesus said, upon that rock of revelation, yes. I'll build my church. Who do you say God is? I will say of the Lord, help me, Jesus. Yes. Well, I've said that. Yes. I he's will whatever say, you, he's what you need to be. He's. But you've got to say it. Yes. He's your Jehovah Jireh, your provider, the provider. And I love Jireh. It means he sees ahead. He already knows like you're going to wake up and something new is going to be right there. It doesn't throw God off. He's no. like, I've made provision for that, honey. Yeah. I've got you. You know, if you need gold, <laughs> what day did God put it in the earth. God did not say, you know, like, okay, on the first day, seventh, second day, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh day, he rested. He didn't say, let's make man on the first day. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't make man until all, all the provision was yes. already there. Yes, what so are you saying so of the good. Lord? Yeah. I want to pray for you right I love now. It. One of the things <laughs> I want you to pray about is looking at Psalm 91 mm -hmm. and saying of the Lord, even if you can't think of anything else yeah. to say, Lord, you're my refuge. Yes. You're my fortress. I trust in you. Mm -hmm. Just that right there. Mm -hmm. You're my refuge. You're my fortress. I trust in you. Yeah. I pray for you right now that you will look at Ephesians 6. You'll look at Psalm 91. Yes. You'll look at the turtles and you yes. will see what it <laughs> means thing. to put the armor on yes. Yes. so that we can be victorious in battle. I pray for you mm. from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I pray for your physical body, for your spiritual being. I pray for every fiber of your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. Mm -hmm. I pray for your family, your job, your resources. I pray for whatever it is that you have need of, for you to know God is there and He has that provision as you begin to trust Him, stretch out your faith, and expect a miracle. I pray for you today that you know that you know that you know that He is your refuge and your fortress and you can trust him. I pray that for you right now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. I want to remind you if you need prayer or if you'd like mm -hmm. a prayer cover, 
495-77-77918. It's free. I just want to give it to you. Awesome. And also you can down download it in a PDF, richardroberts.org slash bookstore. Get good resources. Stay mm -hmm. tuned. We're going to be right back. Check out Lindsay's latest online magazines at richardroberts.org. The issues of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts are loaded with encouragement from God's life-giving word. They feature inspiring articles from Lindsay, teachings from Richard, oral and other special guests, and delicious recipes to try in your kitchen. Just go to richardroberts.org to read the free online issues of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts. That's richardroberts.org. Oh, you know, when God is your strength and your refuge, refuge you can laugh. Yes. And I, you know, that's another thing I'm going to just say right here. I pray for the joy of the Lord yes. to be your strength. Yes. We love to laugh. Yep. We've cried, we've yeah. prayed, but we also have laughed. And I pray for laughter Amen. to be restored. Laughter, the Bible says yes. that a merry heart does good like a medicine. The joy of the Lord to be your strength. So that's my prayer. Yeah. Good teaching, girl. Thanks. I like Thanks. that very much. She's going to do one in a little while on, um, <laughs> on a lamp and a lamb. <laughs> Not kidding. Hey, whatever gives us good visuals, we're in. And don't forget, Prayer cover, 918-495-7777, or go online, or over, uh, you can go to oralroberts.com or richardroberts.org, 918-495-7777, richardroberts.org. I'm going to show you what this is. God yeah. is a good God. Yeah. God's wish for you. All things work together. And these are all scriptures. And this right. is full of scriptures that you can say of the Lord and begin to quote yep. scripture. Wash your mind so, in them. Cover yes, your mind. Cover your mind in them. And it's free. Mm -hmm. And I pray it's a blessing. And most of all, I pray you make your day count for the kingdom of God today. <laughs>